very top of the building. And if you were an American, the 2000s was the decade from hell. Think about it. Terrorism destroyed the two icons of American power. Two wars fought in the name of freedom destroyed countless lives in both America and abroad. A hurricane coupled with political incompetence destroyed an American city. At the end of the decade, American greed helped cripple our economy, costing thousands of people their jobs and their future. As we enter the 21st century, our future seemed less and less certain. Maybe this was the end. But one film captured this global sense of the end of the world more than any other. The film was Children of Men. With this movie, we see a blending of science fiction, political drama, and some unique and complex imagery to give us a film that allows us to both escape and reflect on the world around us. How does the movie do all this? Well, just give me a few minutes of your time, and let's go back and take a closer look at Children of Men. In Children of Men, the human race has become infertile. In a world where no new life is being born, civilization begins to unravel. Britain has turned into a war zone, and illegal immigrants are captured and put in detention camps. But unlike other films about the end of the world, Children of Men feels more real, more timely. One of the reasons for this is the film's visual structure specifically the use of something called the long take. Now, the long take is an uninterrupted shot in a film that usually lasts several minutes and is longer than the film's normal editing pace. We see several such shots in Children of Men, including the film's unsettling opening sequence. Now, the use of these long takes not only gives the appearance of continuous space, but also a sense that the events are unfolding in real time. We can see this idea in the now famous scene where a long take is used to show an ambush from inside a car crammed with passengers. Now even though there are some editing tricks being employed here, the seamless, continuous movement of the camera makes the scene all the more disturbing as the audience feels like they are trapped in a space with a dying person. So Children of Men doesn't just build an apocalyptic world. The film uses this long take strategy to guide us through the world and make it seem real. Another important part of the movie's visual style are its references to history. Now in Children of Men, immigrants and political refugees are dehumanized by England's racist government. In depicting the mistreatment of immigrants, the film references both current and historic atrocities. Now throughout this film we see the power of the police state. We see police everywhere and people are locked in cages. And strangely enough, all this seems to be a normal part of life in London at this time. But a more poignant example takes place in a prison camp for refugees. Through the long take, we view scenes of torture and humiliation that deliberately evoke the imagery of abuse from Abu Ghraib prison. For those of you who don't know, Abu Ghraib prison is the infamous American-run prison in Iraq. Now the scene shows faceless victims who are bound uncomfortably, their heads covered with bags, and they're stripped naked and beaten, and their bodies are put on display. Now at the time of the film's release, these images of Americans abusing Iraqi prisoners was all over the news, so I think an audience viewing the film in its historical context would get those contemporary references to America's war on terror. Another explicit reference to history is when we pass a pile of luggage and shoes at the entrance to this prison camp. Now this imagery deliberately references images of piled suitcases and shoes usually found in Holocaust memorials. So by referencing images of historic suffering, 
Childhood of Men allows us to use our collective memory, our knowledge of actual suffering, in order to make real the fictional apocalyptic suffering in this film. I think Childhood of Men is a very complex film, and I've only touched on some of the issues that the film addresses. It's definitely a film you should watch and explore in greater detail. Uh, thanks for listening. Please subscribe to my channel and post comments below.